Hey, in this video we're going to talk about YouTube video. How to put that on your page. So, it's really easy to do. We're going to scroll down to our media section. We're going to grab the YouTube tab and draw out a selection. Once you grab out a selection, we're going to right click on it open up our object properties and this is where by default we're going to have some other video than what we want but we'd have to go out to YouTube and find the video I want and copy that but I already have one here so I'm going to highlight that and paste it in there and we can adjust any of these functions we show controls we're going to turn that off show info we don't want that related videos no Autoplay, we'll leave on for right now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> enable full function. <coughs> or sorry. Full, uh, enable uh, full screen. We'll leave that on. Uh, high player controls, whatever. No, you, you, can, you can play with any of these as you want, but go ahead. Okay. And then let's preview this. F5. page is loading and there's our YouTube video we can click play oh. and it's actually playing within our website and that's actually how small we have it let's go back to WYSIWYG Let's drag this out. Let's use the arrange feature. Center in page, center in page horizontally. Let's see what this looks like now. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go back to WYSIWYG. The reason that looked off center is because what we need to do in this case is we need to click outside of the video. We need to click on the page itself, page properties, and right here, page alignment. We're going to click center horizontally. Okay. We've already highlighted the video itself. We've already centered this in the page horizontally. We can click and drag and make it a little bit bigger. Let's go back up the center and page again. There we go. Let's hit F5 again. See what this looks like. There we go. Now it's totally centered in our page. We have this on auto start, auto loop. So the, the video itself, I think, is only about 40 seconds thereabouts. But as you can see, it stops. Let's go back to WYSIWYG and see what's going on. We're going to click on the object, auto, auto play. We didn't, we didn't have loop clicked. So let's click on loop, F5. Check this out again. Like I said, about 40 seconds, I think, maybe 30, 30, 40 seconds. Let's see if this loops, because we checked the loop tab. There it goes. All right. Now, let's go back to WYSIWYG and discuss a few other options here. Now, we can actually uh, go into Object Properties and click on Light Box. And we can display content inside this as a light box. Now, what a light box means is when they click on an image, it will launch the video. So if we click on display the content inside Lightbox when preview image is clicked, now we have to find an image. Now I don't have offhand a good image. Uh, typically it would be a video image or a uh, click here for video image or something, but we're just going to use this apple. Don't ask me why. <laughs> We're just going to use this apple for right now. 
and um, we're going to F5 and see how this works. All right, so here we have this apple. If we move our cursor over the apple, you'll see it turns into a hyperlink. If we click on that, boom, the video pops up in the middle of the screen. This is what's called as a display box. All right, and then we can X out of this. Click on it again, we'll launch it again. Let's go back to WYSIWYG. That's too funny. Um, not choose properties. Yay. All right, well, let's get rid of that. Um, go back to our YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to show you one more thing we can do here, which I think was discussed in a previous video, but I'm going to show you once again. Uh, I'm going to right click on the object properties. We are going to paste in the video that we want to use. And this time is what we're going to do is autoplay, uh, enable full screen, no we don't even enable full screen, uh, play in high quality mode, uh, we're going to loop it, uh, hide player controls, but uh, what I want you to actually see is we're going to click right down here where it says layer, layout, fill entire browser. We can actually use this video as a background. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to go to F5. I'm going to show you what this does. This video can actually be used as a background image, or in this case, a background video. Now, the cool thing about this is we can actually put layers, text, imagery, any other thing on top of this video. Um, so in essence, we can use video as a background as well. Let's go back to WYSIWYG. So that is uh, some usage of YouTube video. Um, we can use it as a standalone object of which we can position anywhere we want, resize it any way we want, we can actually go into the properties palette off to the side here if we need to position this in a specific location and or a specific size depending on the website you're building it may you may only have space for a specific size video in a box and you know that specific size this is where you change it at right here just come in here let's say instead of 385 we want this to be 365 Boom, as you'll see, it shrank to 365. So, uh, a lot of different options for YouTube video. It's a great source to add functionality and some um, creativity to your website. So, uh, have fun with that, explore it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.